Hey there, beer tubers! Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We got the Sith, the Fuzz, and Heist all over here. We're gonna take welcome a look. Back. Welcome back. Yes, it's been so long. We're gonna take a look at a beer that I brought back from Callis, Maine. We're gonna take a look at Leinen Kugels Oktoberfest, a fall <laughs> seasonal from a brewery in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Where? <laughs> Chippewa, Where? Chippewa Falls, Chippewa Falls Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin. Jacob Line and Kugel Brewing Co. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, carefully brewed for five generations by the Line and Kugel family. The who? The Line and Kugel family. Okay. The perfect beer to celebrate the fall season, featuring Munich Pale Caramel and Malts. So, with four specialty hops, brewed with pride by the Line and Kugel family. Yeah, you made that point already. The who? The Line and Kugel family. The Line and Kugel family. This is a whole bunch of things that I can't pronounce. The Leinen Google thing. I, I thought know. you were half German. Zink Heil! No! Nein! 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 No! Nein, no. no. nein means no! That's a poison. No, it's not going to be poison. Are you sure? And a little bit left for uh, High School Mighty Pro. Oh, maybe not so much. <laughs> it's got more than. No, well, whatever. I'm pretty much sobered up. I sat up the last seven. <laughs> Was it seven? I don't anyway, know. It was like four or five. Yeah, something like that. We had some pretty big beers mm. in that. You'll missed out, sir. Mm. Oh, yeah, because the IPA was terrible. Yeah, yeah, the IPA was good, but the, okay, this, this year's version of the spice for Uncle Minnesota Gun is excellent. Got one in the fridge. Okay, well, there you go. Is it still in the box? box? Yeah. Good. Keep it there. All right, so uh, it's got a nice Bavarian cap on there, uh, the, the blue diamond kind of uh, motif on it. In so Bavaria. Really nice. Bavaria. Uh, hey, I went to a restaurant that was yeah. uh, founded by uh, Bavari Bavarians um, in, in Sussex, New Brunswick. Me and, and, me, and Neely's trip to, uh, me and Neely's trip to Jasper in 2009 has a little bit of a story about a guy from Bavaria Beer? who was totally yeah. checking. He was like an 80-year-old guy that was checking out Neely when she was in the key. Yeah, it was a little Alright, right, so let's give this a... It, that look really looks nice for an Oktoberfest. I will give it credit for that. Nice big sticky head. Brown amber appearance. Looks really nice. Very funny. I know. That's what she said. Not that out. <laughs> The smell on the the smell on the other hand. Like do you feel the pressure? I that's a little, but I, I'm, I'm <laughs> <sighs> come on, focus, Nick. Sorry, you can focus. Let me talk about the fucking beer. Talk to the camera, Max. Hash browns, hash brownies, right? Something brown. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's slightly sweet, but I'm getting almost it's like very sweet. Cat box kind of sound. What? Good. Listen, you, I'm smelling, do you want to add cat box and put it under his nose? Let's just drink the damn Dude, beer. it smells almost like a regular lager when it's supposed to be this sweet marzen. That smells pretty sweet to me. We need to try that one again. I'm not home. getting a lot of sweetness out of this. I'm, yeah, you're Sorry. drunk. We're obviously drinking the same beer because it's one bottle. You're I mean, it doesn't drink. smell bad. I just find that it smells... There's a little bit more sweetness to yours. It's almost a little line. nutty. Let's drink your beer, drunkie. We can right, drink, drink your beer, drunkie. Cheers. Tab it on that. Well, any bad. Wow. Can you photocopy that for me later? I need 25 pictures of your ass in the photocopier tomorrow. <laughs> My ass. I'd much rather see her ass than his ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm sending these out to clients. <laughs> That's scary. Why would you want to see his ass? No, I don't want to. They do. We quit talking about asses here for a moment. Get back to the beer because we're on. We're recording right now. I still maintain hash browns. I like it. It's kind of got a mild caramel brown sugar sort of sweetness to it. <laughs> a little bit of sour, a little bit of a herbal aftertaste. taste. Oh no, it's a good present. I'm okay. It's, I'm okay with it. it's decent. I will give credit for that, but it's not wowing me. It's not blowing my mind or anything, but it's a decent present. No, yeah. it's. I've had some better Marzins. Like when I think about like Oktoberfest beers, think about the ones that we've had, like Paul Hunter. Uh, we've had the ones from uh, Pump House, um, the one from uh, uh, what was the other one? This, isn't as, this isn't as sweet, but I, it's it's got a little more herbal to it, so it kind of balances out. I'm not really. There is a little bit of herbal to it, but I'm not as getting as big as malt sweetness as I was hoping for for a Marzin. Apparently, he's the only one who disagrees with both of us. Yeah. 
I'm trying to come up with my own opinion here. When I, I've had quite a few versions in my time, and I'm thinking that it doesn't jump out at me as much as I was hoping for when it comes to an Oktoberfest beer. Okay. It, it's very clean and easy drinking when, when it comes to, like, and it's, it's, it's very smooth and very light. Yep. But I'm going to say for a little bit more sweetness. What do you say there, Seth? I say three five two because to me it's like I'm drinking pan fries. Like they, it reminds me of hash browns. Yeah, well, you know, you're a little bit Irish too. It really reminds you, me of potatoes. You leave my potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a three point two five. So I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, I know. I'm giving the lowest rating. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Yeah, I know. I'm giving the lowest rating. I like it. I just don't think it's as great as some of the other Oktoberfests I've had. That's if you get the moose light hat. <laughs> <laughs> you get the moose light hat because you think it sucks. It goes that way. Well, that's it for Maxwell Stars Brew Review. I'm the Fuzz, Vice, Sid, and Max. Talk to, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>